downgrade how just exceptional that is. Very diplomatic. Uh, Polynesian or myself, our people are not really runners. We're not really built to run. However, when I retired from athletics, I bought a treadmill because now I am a little bit lighter and I have um, dreams of running for miles and miles and miles. Now I know this is probably not possible, but a little bit at a time makes me feel good about myself. Running is one of those things that you can do it anywhere. Um, it's free, all you gotta do is put your shoes on and walk out the door and the impact that it has on you is so positive that it makes it more addictive. Uh, so do you have an idea of the size of the uh, numbers that are going to turn up? I have the 16th edition, uh, that there has been this big uh, sort of push for people to run for whatever reason, various reasons. You're so big uh, in uh, when you're talking about women's sport, when you're talking about women's commitment to active. Again, running and walking is very easy to do. Put your shoes on. Addition, I think it's important that we celebrate this um, as a city and as, as an organization because this is a step in the right direction. If you think about running and the sport of running, it is for everybody, it is inclusive and anybody of any ability can participate in this and the best thing about it is that you have top level runners and you also have the community and amateur runners involved in this event and at the end of the day the goal is to reach that finish line, everybody gets a medal and everybody's able to sit down and celebrate with their friends and family but making sure that you know we do our bit to promote um, you know, the impact of running and what that does to us physically, mentally, emotionally. Javelin throws, is there something that's there that you, that you, that you can think of, you know, these guys, are, all sports have this, that, you know, these yeah. guys are the weirdos, these guys are the good ones, we are the grounded, you know, think of as the coolness quotient in track and field. Uh, and I think that the earnings uh, will, will uh, uh, reflect that as well. It's basically runners, jumpers and throwers right at, right at the bottom. How do you sell your sport? How Olympic Games, um, it was a very uh, difficult journey. So federations competing and in one event there's over 30 in ourselves. I think that's something that should be shared. We were hoping. Oh, I'm sure. But I mean, it's for, I mean, for us is actually each event has their own skill set. Each event is very difficult to achieve. So therefore there's mad respect between throwers, between jumpers, between if you want to take me on and have an arm wrestle, feel free. <laughs> but I would not recommend it because I will embarrass you. <laughs> but here, what the 240 number actually is, in clear so, terms. That's world ranking, uh, transgender, to doping, um, wh whatever it may be, there's always issues everywhere. So we do our very best to, to address those issues from an athlete's perspective, making sure that the views of the athletes are heard, but I have a better understanding now as to why decisions are made at a board level, because when you're an athlete, you're very tunnel vision, you know, you're there to compete, you're there, you're there to train, you're there to win medals, that's all you think about. And sometimes it's hard to understand why things are, are why decisions are made at, at a higher level. So it's for us to try and get that connection between the board and, and the athletes and try and share with them, you know, what we can, you know, what we can and can't, but what we can to make them understand why things are being done and get the buy-in and all the rest of it, but also get their views on certain things, you know, because sometimes um, it's, a, you know, all the time it's important to get, to get the athletes' voices, but some sort of progress in that space with the AIU uh, being an independent organ. Yeah. Athletics though. Yeah, yeah. You know, but also also the world of athletics is very, very difficult, especially in throwing. There's absolute potential out there, but so you know, getting the right people on board, coaches, resources and the talent pool. But on Saturday i I will be joining a few athletes to give them some tips and hopefully that will help just a little bit. Can you do the same? Do the same thing. Okay, now. Can you turn this side? This side, yes, yes. This side, madam, this side. Madam, this side, this side, madam, this side. After, 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 after.